Hi everybody, this is CVGS, I'm the captain here and welcome to another tournament fight that we have for you guys over at Topsic Tournament last weekend. Uh, this is actually an English tournament that we held over there, so which is was actually quite a fun weekend as well. Uh, quite a few epic matches that we had, a very good crowd was over there too as well. So, so if you are in Singapore, I do highly recommend coming down on our tournament dates uh, and just have some fun with us, so whether you're playing Japanese or English. Or so. But this is actually a fight that you guys are looking right now between Flightbug and Bafsgara. Uh, Rin and Clarence are your players over here. Rin now going in with Ranko Chain as uh, her right up and drawing two. And discarding spiritual body condensation. So uh, having that in the start of the hand makes sure that she doesn't lose the one card from there. So Ranko Chain has always been one of those good cards uh, to use as a first vanguard no matter what deck that you're playing. Also. Uh, so long as you have all the cards in there, it's worthwhile to play, especially if you manage to start with it too as well. So Clarence now running up to uh, Namuka. And searching out for Swayambu using his skill. Uh, and then after that, he'll be using uh, Ahinsa's skill, his uh, grade 0, to get his plus 1 draw since he went second. Now, we'll endeavor to, you know, not be so fast, uh, just like in my previous uh, commentaries. Uh, but as you can see right now, um, first damage dealt to Rin, Clarence did get a heal trigger, and the turn moves on. So Rin right now running up to Ascendant Assault, Ascendant Assault going for the tag, no guard, PG in the hand, and Clarence loses uh, one of his Blaze Maidens, so that's the problem Blaze Maiden, which I need to point out that uh, has not appeared in the deck lock for English. Um, so his list uh, at the end, as you will see, will be in Japanese, also. so I will just point that out to you guys. Also. But anyways, uh, 2 damage to Rin right now. And Rain is now ready up to Flatbird Dragon, revealing Flatbird Dragon from hand through a Sender Assault skill. So instead of having to Soul Blast the Rico Chain, she keeps that one soul in there. So that uh, it's uh, comfortable for her to actually have Soul, to Soul Blast for certain skills or so. Alright, so Rain debating what to do, calling out Price Trident. Uh, attack your Price Trident doesn't hit but attacks with Ascendant Assault which can hit so Clarence does need to block this if he chooses so to decide. Nope he doesn't, he gets a heal trigger plus 10 kit to the Vanguard. Flybird Dragon needs one trigger to attack but it is the third attack so Rin does get the plus one draw. And Clarence will make it, well, no pass at all so yeah. Passing the turn over to Clarence right now, Rin did get a crit but wasn't effective in this battle. And Clarence discarding Bowsgara to ride into Bowsgara. And right now, uh, Clarence, well, putting on the shield and paying the cost, color bus one. Uh, no, sorry, uh, paying the cost for. Uh, to paint the shield. And then kind of like uh, doing things out of order, but basically he needed to soul charge one, which he is about to do right now. So that was so the call out for Trickstar is actually uh, Mazugara's skill. You need to soul charge one, then choose a great one or less or from a drop zone. You call it to Rika Circle. In this case, it's called Trick Boon, which he had discarded at the first turn. And Trick Boon now providing dress boost, so plus 10k, it's a 50k booster. Heal trigger, Clarence getting a heal, second heal trigger, doesn't get that heal that second time, and Rin loses uh, her PG to the damage zone also. Alright, so it seems that Clarence doesn't have the spear or uh, doesn't have the spear or or any other um, uh, arms yet. Uh, otherwise, he would have been able to uh, turbo straight into uh, having two arms as well which would have been more effective and made Trickstar a lot more powerful too as well. But right now, Rin, full boarding it, calling out uh, Inla Pulse Dragon, uh, you know, Putting down another tri uh, Price Trident 2 as well. And of course, Shelling Cannon Dragon as well. So Shelling Cannon Dragon, she activates the skill at the start of your battle phase. You can color blast 1 and it can attack from the back row and gets plus 10k. So in the Pulse, discarding, uh, sorry, Soul Blasting right now after the first battle. And gets to restand. Ascendant Assault will be attacking on its own. Ascendant Assault is going for 20. Uh, and Clarence knocks on the shield to indicate that, that the shield use, usage from there, don't worry. I will let him know not to have his hands cover the, the Vega so that we can see. <laughs> there we go. And uh, yeah, so Pain Count Blast once so Ascendant Assault can withstand once uh, in the Pulse is attacking the Vanguard. No trigger just yet, so 
uh, Shelling Cannon attacks. And this is actually the fifth battle right now. Uh, for it. And Clarence putting up the guards on there just to, to guard that off. Again, no defensive triggers on his side. But Rin now does uh, get some color charges as well with Price Tridents going into the soul. Uh, and color charging. Once it's the fifth battle or more. Alright, and then because it's the fifth battle or more, so of course Clarence will no guard, so there's no point in trying to take advantage of the. Uh, uh, try to overcome, I should say. The guard restriction that Flagberg has. But Clarence is going up to 4 damage right now. He stands and he draws. Does he have a second arm to to, to put Basgar online? Nope, he does have a Persona right. It's not yet. Uh, Persona right, so plus the key to the front row. Brought my counters over here so, so that the players can use it uh, very, very nicely. So. Gotta make sure. <laughs> Gotta make sure. Alright, then call it down uh, Ashnia. And make use of Ashnia's skill. So, um, the arms uh, is the left deity arms that's online right now. Uh, so, uh, Ashnia will be able to uh, fetch a great one or less to the uh, from the drop to the regard circle. So, yeah, they're just double checking and just making sure that it is the left arms as well. Because, you know, orientation wise, right, uh, I've always said. Uh, the best way to recognize the orientation for the arms, right, is that you follow uh, Basgara's uh, orientation. So, it is her left. That's why the shield is considered the left, even though it's placed on the right side. Our right, her left. So, that's always the best indicator there. So, but unfortunately, there's no second arms for, for Clarence right now. And attacks with uh, Basgara right now. Coming in at 23, uh, 15. So, 38. It's a big guard though. So even just because you have a trick start over there, uh you know, even if you only have one arm so so that's still a huge number to deal with. So. But Rin does get a defensive trigger. So this should take care of any um uh uh you know pesky person right uh power up. Ashnia actually taking the ring out circle earlier from there, but now the turn has passed over to Rin. Uh, let's see what Rin can do. So you know it, it's it's a good time right now because uh without Basgara's two arms there. Um, Basgara cannot actually uh, remove the entire front row. So, it is safe for Rin to just really kind of like, just keep things all out from there. So, with two color blasts there, uh, Rin can definitely reach uh, plus ten, uh, the, the five battles. And, you know, having a color blast to be able to use even Shining uh, Cannon Dragon there as well. Just to be able to make sure that there is the five battles as well. Especially since we see the cooldowns in his Ascendant's Assault and Eric's there too as well. So Eric's will be able to restand on the second uh, battle. No Persona Right this round, unfortunately. So without the Persona Right means that they don't have power, which means that Ascendant Assault cannot hit the Vanguard. Uh, but Shelling Cannon comes online right now, can attack from the back row too as well. So what would be the play here for Rin as well? Rin will be attacking uh, Ashnia. Now Arix attacks the Vanguard. Uh, attack doesn't hit, of course, because Arix is only 10k. But it will restand and gets uh, plus 5k. So now Arix can attack again, which uh, Rin decides to. So 15k. Front trigger, so a defense trigger on Clarence's side. 5 damage on, on Clarence's end. So this is getting a little bit tight around the collar for Clarence. Alright. And making use of uh, Flatberg's ability. Plus 10k and it does have the gut restriction in play. Alrighty. Let's see whether Clarence will have enough. So remember he's got to put down 3 cards in this battle also because of Flatberg's ability. And Flagberg is going in at 23 right now. So it, the, the power matches. Which means that this is quite pesky right now. So because even though he needs a 5k for 1. Uh, 50k for 2. He still needs to put down 3 cards. So he still needs to put down 3 cards. What will Clarence decide? Okay. Put down 20k right there. And 
lot more. And he drops the PG or so. But he's not activating the PG skill over here or so. So he's cutting out the power and he does activate the shield. Ah yeah, so that, that's the indicator right there. That he does activate the shield. He does say verbally but he didn't like... I wasn't sure if he indicated it on, on the field there. So. so two triggers coming in. Alrighty. And uh, right now I can tell you uh, what is happening is that there's a clarification for power. Alright, so even though Reed has two triggers, it is a, a 43 right there. The shield power plus the shield uh, bus guard will have 33. 33 plus 20 which is 53. So, uh, two triggers will not be able to, to punch through right there. So. Clarence uh, didn't realize that the power counter that he actually had down there was actually from his front. Uh, neglected to count in so I boost power too as well so he thought the attack went through but no the game continues right there so we gotta make sure that we deliver uh, you know we gotta deliver the fair rules here so as much as possible so you can bet that I'm there just count out everything so personal right from Clarence's side uh, Ashnia coming down still no still no right deity arms unfortunately so which is quite amazing it can happen in a, in, in a buff uh, cigar deck too as well. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's just kind of it's just kind of amazing. So that Clarence is going up this far. I mean, it's not that late in. We just consider like mid game still, but just no right deity arms. So it's <laughs> it's uh well that's pretty that's pretty tight around the corner. Tight around the the corner. Yes, correct. That's the term right there. But anyways. Uh, Ashia calling down uh, Trick Moon. There's the right deity the arms. He's finally found the spear. So yes, but let's see whether Clarence can 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 hold out long enough or so. Just checking the the ability from there. And Ashnia seems to be okay. So I think going after Alex, Eric. So Eric goes away to the drop zone. The turn passes over. Now can Clarence last this turn? Judging by his hand size, he might be able to, but uh, Rin does not have any Color Blast 2 as well. Sorry, uh, Rin does not have any Color Blast 2 as well, so Clarence might be able to get a side relief or so. Not being able to give uh, the, the, the extra damage to Rin would definitely help Rin a lot in making sure that you don't see the 5 damage. Oh, sorry, the 5 attacks I should say. The 5th damage to allow the 5 attacks because, you know, all, all Rin needs is... Uh, is more prized tridents if Rin has found them. But it's better to to, uh, to just not give the damage to Rin at all, also, which uh, which is what happened earlier in the last turn. So Rin actually making use of Shelling Cannon's ability, which is that it can move uh, between uh, columns, so long as it's in the back row. Back row center, I should say. But Shelly Cannon going for the first attack right now, so 30k, no personal right on Rin's side. So power will be a little bit down. Might be uh, a bit of a saving grace for Clarence. 5k guard from there. Rin attacking with uh, Flatbird. Now I gotta point out something interesting over here. So which is that Rin did call a uh, Rousing Dragon, a uh, Rousing Breath Dragon behind uh, Ascendant Assault. Rousing Breath Dragon actually would uh, work better in the center back row where it would make the flag perks, uh, where it make flag perks cost to uh, reduce by counter plus one. That would make it so that flag perk can still activate the ability, but um, she needs power on that center assault. So. so we see. But now the turn has passed over and Clarence finally got the right deity arms down. And uh, now making use of of the arm ability we haven't seen this in a while yet but right now buffs gara is fully online calling out another trick move from the drop zone too as well behind our hinsa so that his dress boost can give power to everything now that there's two deity arms all those trick moves with the dress boost is now 20 uh, plus 20k so 25k in total and here we go we see 25k also uh buffs gara skill coming into play so blast two remove the entire front row and gets plus one critical two as well but Rid coming in prepared with the uh, with the Blitz Order. Elementaria Sectitude. Just gotta wait for the discard right now. That's the heal trigger. The effect heal, the counter heal. Uh, critical trigger. So putting the effects to uh, Ashnia. Alright. Yep. I'll put all the dice in play. 
Second check, no uh, uh, no trigger on that side. Uh, the Greed 2 has no power, so it won't be able to, to hit Flamberg anyway. So it just swings for the, for the sake of it. And of course, Ashnia now coming in. Uh, Ashnia does have plus 10k on, on uh, uh, when it activated its ability. So it should be plus uh, 20k in total plus, uh, with the trigger 2 as well. 2 damage as well, so Rin has to guard this. Plus the 35 behind as well. So we are looking at... Um, we're looking at 53 on that column. My map should be correct on that. Oh, sorry, no, it's not 53. It's actually uh, 55. So, what will Rin do right now? So, she has to guard this because it is two criticals. It's a big number. So, with her not actually having any uh, triggers to defensive triggers I I want to say but she does got a whole bunch of triggers or so just to be able to defend the 55 or so but right now uh, the third pass over using spiritual body condensation soul blast 1 then call a cut from the drop zone against plus 5k smartly soul blasting in the pulse from the soul and calling it back out again so that it has another lease on life uh, to be able to you know if you get 4, four attacks that's that's the, the, the best thing ever and it's easy to get as well because um, in the pulse itself is the 4th attack so here we go. Hopefully Karens does have enough to be able to guard off uh, these four attacks. Now there's not going to be any effects from Flagberg, but at the very least there is going to be uh, four attacks for sure. Double intercept from Clarence's side. Then Inlopulse will stand up after Soul Blast 1. Rin still has plenty of soul to, to, to do stuff like this also. So if she chooses so, she can attack with Eric right now. Then Soul Blast to in order to get it power, so we could see 5 attacks. But no, Rin is deciding to just save the resources. And attacking with uh, with the Inner Pulse right now. So Inner Pulse is 18, 18 plus 8 should be 26. So 50 Giga on Clarence's side as well, which he does very easily. Now the Vanguard attacks as well. No counter blast on Rin's side, so there is no abilities on. So no draw, no retiring, and no, uh, you know, guard restrictions for there. PG on Clarence's side, no trigger on Rin's end also, but she does gain another spiritual body condensation. Eric's attacks for the fourth attack, then turn end, so in from in the pulse, draw one. So that draw one might come in handy for her to for the next turn as well, especially since you know it's best to use that skill right here right now, since you're gonna lose it to the drop zone thanks to uh, Bob's Gara's skill. So now Clarence, put it up, wow, wow, MVP on, on Clarence's side, so with another Ashnia uh, coming down, so he gets plus 10k and then calls another uh, card for a drop zone. In this case, it's called, uh, I believe, uh, call it down another treatment behind, so let me just get the name very, very quickly for that, and that should be uh, Shamba, basically, Shamda, so Shamda, there we go. So he gets plus 5k because there's two arms uh, on the field right there. But Bowsgara activating the skill, gets plus 1 critical, dress boost behind. We're looking, no persona right here, so we're looking at 13, 13 plus 25, so this is 38. Rin now planning her guards right now, because there's still the two sides to, to consider. So so long as there's no criticals from Bowsgara's check, there is, uh, so she can still take uh, 1 damage from, from, from either side. Alright, so Rin now putting down the, the, the PG. Front trigger on Clarence's side. So all you use the front row gets plus 10k. It doesn't even put any of Bob's Gara because it's, but it's mood ready. Second so check, no trigger on there. So yeah. The turn carries on. With Clarence now attacking with uh, Sabda. Oh wait, hang on. I think that might be... Oh sorry, sorry. That is... That is Samadhi, sorry. My mistake. That is Samadhi that actually came out. It's not Sabda. Sabda was the one that drive-checked. So. But uh, Rin, 
using the uh, over trigger to guard also. Now we've been wondering, if you guys have been wondering, where have the over triggers have been this entire game also? Well, they are this late in the game as well. So uh, we see Rin dropping uh, Blast Favor out. And making use of Spiritual Body Organization right now to repeat uh, the last turn. Now full boarding as well, another Eryx, another uh, a Price Trident 2 as well. And also Rousing Dragon as well, so Rousing Dragon makes it so that... Rousing Breath Dragon will make it so that uh, Flight Bug does not... Does not get... Uh, does not have to use a Counter Blast uh, for its ability. So she can go full force right now and still have another Counter Blast to, to make use for... Uh, you know, to make use for, for other abilities as well. So, in the pulse restanding right now. And Rin will definitely be able to get 5 attacks or so. So that guard restriction will come into play. But Eric's right now attacking with uh, with Price Trident. Making use of the shield from Clarence's side to protect against Eric's attack. So counting up the attack right now. She can only reach 4 unfortunately. She can only reach 4 so because she doesn't have any more in the soul if I believe. So Eric won't be able to restand. that's why she attacked with the boost. Illipulse not coming in, 26k, 50k guard. Yes, there is no cuts in the soul. So, Counter Blast 1 because it wasn't the 5th attack, unfortunately. So, Rousing Breath cannot activate. Uh, and Rin, but Rin does get retires as well. So, making it uh, so that Clarence has to work even harder if there is an next turn. But let's see right now also. Let's see whether Clarence is able to, to guard this off also. Doesn't have a lot of cuts in hand. But we did uh, spot a few triggers. But now let's see. Now let's see so whether if um, Clarence can block off this total of 18k. <laughs> Alright, 20k guard right now brings it to 33. So this is two triggers. Will Rin be able to check it? Let's see now. Already used the shield already, so there's two triggers. First check Ascended Assault, second check Flag Burn Dragon. Oof. <laughs> the pulse going in, uh, getting the draw one. The turn passes over to Clarence right now. So this is getting quite tight, ladies and gentlemen. What will Clarence now do? That's a uh... well. Obviously, I mean, uh, there's already enough power going around right there. But what Clarence does is that he finds another. Uh, he does find another uh, spear. Uh, gets the draw one from the spear with the color plus one. Basugara skills soul charges another uh, another one of the spears, and calls out trick boon. Then gets a counter charge again because he's been caught in the center back row uh, regard circle. Another <laughs> Ashnia. I think he's called all four Ashnias out ready as well. And we use our Ashnia skill to actually call out another trick boon as well. So the field remains the same. It is back online, ladies and gentlemen. But then uh, Basgara skills, so blast two, it gets plus one critical. What a fun game, dude. What a fun game, you guys. This has been a fun game to watch. This has been a fun game to commentate to as well. But let's see what Rin is going to do right now. The match isn't over yet until the exit damage is counted. It's five to five on both sides as well. Rin doing a trigger check and hopefully she still has. Even though the deck is thin, I think both players' decks are very, very thin right now. Hopefully there's still a heal in there so to save Rin. So. But if not, hopefully she's got enough cards in hand to guard So There's a good chance that, that she might have it too as well. There is no guard restrictions on, on Buffs to Gara's side. It's just very, very big 38k. So let's see. Doing a power count too as well. So um, Ashnia's side uh, would be uh, 45. And the Samana's side, oh no, guard. Critical trigger, so all effects to the uh, well, the critical to the Vanguard. Alrighty, so this is three damage, so I'm not sure if Rin will be able to heal from all this. Power to Ashnia and over trigger. <laughs> there we go, the clapping. We we've, we've been talking about where the hell is the over trigger this entire game, so of course I'm not allowed to say anything. So that's just comments that sit live on the on the field. But as you can see, Rin does not have the heal anymore. So good games to both players right now. So, and as we flash up the deck list that you guys can see right now, this is what Rin is playing uh, on uh, her side. 
uh, playing some of the older cards, uh, mostly spiritual body colorization really coming in to help with calling out flight uh, in the pulse. Uh, just to be able to, to get that but of course there's other cards there that helps with powering up the rear guards uh, as well as uh, you know calling card from uh, from your drop zone 2 as well so, so there's another uh, card that she has over there in there but as we flip over to the uh, the deck list for Buffs Gara to what Karens is playing as you can see he's running with the usual 4 spears, 1 sword uh, one shield in there as well. Now I had, as mentioned earlier, I had to make this in Japanese because the Blaze Maiden, uh, three copies of that actually uh, is a promo card that's not available in the deck lot in English just yet. The card has been out, it just hasn't been released on the deck lot yet, so I have to make it in Japanese. But hopefully you guys will be able to see what he's playing right over here and get a sense of what Bazgara really is all about. So if you guys are interested in in playing any other ones, these decks, so I can definitely say that these two deck builds are worth out to actually uh, to follow us so, and to see what you have going on over there. So, uh, but this is the end of this tournament uh, fight for you guys. But we do have a second uh, tournament fight for you guys as well. So be sure to check it out. And until then.